So this is you getting closer, right? P perfect for a wedge. And look how the hands go straight back easier. Mm -hmm. So much better. You know what I think too, it's gonna be easier to keep your right elbow down as a result too. Because when you're closer, the right arm can relax more. Remember you talked about that earlier in the air? Not having to be so yeah. straight and getting it yeah, in here yeah, and it was yeah. easier to, for it, everything to pivot around it. But right I think when I get too far, the hands even can kind of go out. And then I turn, that's when like the chest gets down and the arms get behind me like that. Yeah. The club can kind of bounce. Kev, come back here real quick. So what we're talking about for the viewer, Cam was getting this a little bit far from his wedges. He's hitting all of his longer clubs good. And just, you know, and he's normally a short iron, like his wedge play is some of the best I've ever seen. And he was just a little bit off. And the first thing I noticed, he was just a little too far from the golf ball. You know, you should definitely with wedges, crowd the ball a little bit more than you would with even a nine iron or beyond. And the reason being, you know, you want to be on top of it. The closer you get, the lower you're going to hit it without having to try. You're more on top of the golf ball. But everything, the arms are more connected to the body and you're not reaching. So for him, one of the big things that helps Cameron's golf swing is Cam really likes to have his hands down the line of his feet longer in his takeaway. That creates width and connection in his swing. So when he was getting too far, he was having to force his hands out too much and that feels uncomfortable. And when you're a little bit closer, for him, it keeps his hands running down the line of his feet a lot easier. So, you know, just, hey guys, take a look at this swing. It's, it's ob obviously one of my favorites ever. Uh -huh. It's gonna be easier to get it down the line too, Cam. Yeah. Most people too with wedges, what, you know, the, the average golfer is afraid to get closer because they're all thinking, I'm gonna shank it. And that's just not the case. That's only the case. A lot of times it's induced by two being too far and the person has to throw the club out, <clears throat> excuse me, to get to the golf ball. And, you know, being closer just keeps everything more compact, which then allows him to rotate more. Another tip I gave him, and I'm gonna remind him again, just when you, how far do you hit that club? 52 degree full here, it's like right around 120 probably. So 52 degree full here in San Diego. <laughs> changes for elsewhere, um, about 120. So what I was telling him was go a frame lower than you normally would and try to still hit at 120. So that's a way that can help him stay connected and not have any extra arm swing to the top of the swing and really promote his body and hands stopping together, therefore allowing him to use the rotation of his body to score up the club face through impact. <clears throat> What's nice is when he's far and he tries to feel that, then the hands can get in and behind him. But when he's closer, the hands just move right down the line of his feet. So just notice where his hands hang relative to his shoulders, right underneath his shoulders. Easy little draws. It's perfect. I'm gonna get like a eight iron. Yeah, there. get an eight iron. And you know what's cool though? You probably can just try to feel the exact same thing a little bit. Once again, crew, that's just a little bit closer, a little more casual over it. You know, because Cam does such a good job of setting up with his hips over his ankles, he can very easily just tilt over his belt line and his shoulders are already past his toes and he's playing golf underneath him. So a lot of people who sit back have to over tilt to try to get over the golf ball. But what's nice is because he keeps such a good balance here, it's very easy for him just to tilt down. And something I, I recommend you do, like I, I like this, you grab a golf club, put your right hand on the grip where it should be, put the elbow in front of your body where it would be in your setup and just tilt down over the balls of your feet. And that pretty much answers the distance from the golf ball that you should be, you know? And what Cam's finding out today is that closer is a good thing for him today. It was a little bit far, a little bit over tilted. It, go, it was going like this. Your arms are out here and you're out and rolly and now it yeah. looks like you're here and it just goes right up the plane. Okay. Yeah, watch this though. Yeah, yeah, no, but like watch the plan. I'm just happy, I'm happy about this, watch it in full motion. Watch how this looks better. See, it doesn't look out and rolly, it just goes up the plane. That's nice. That's really nice. So right nice, there. So much better right there. And look where it looks at the top. See how it looks like it's like actually in your hands, like the mm -hmm. right way, it's not like behind your hands. Okay, good. What we mean by that is this. Like look at this one, this is a little bit earlier. And this one, the hands get out and the club kind of rolls up there to the top. See how it gets it kind of behind him and open? The face is just a little open up there. And this one right here, he turns it up there and look how it's just in right for a rock solid. 
That's a difference right there at the top of the swing. That's what we mean by club in front of your hands. Club can be picked up in behind the hands, or it can be turned up there right in front of the hands. Right in front of them. Oh, gosh. It's just pity. Are you seeing it again? I really, really, really like the swing cam. It just looks like to me, like, and to sum it up, buddy, you're just a little bit closer, a little more casual, but your lines are sharp, but it looks like, it looks like you're just like this, standing there, and it, but it looks really sharp. Face on looks perfect, ball position looks great, yeah. and then it just looks like to me that you're, you're turning it back there and not lifting it right now, but it's not going inside at all. That's what the cool part is. Turning it, but not having it go inside. I don't care how to hit this, I'm just gonna try to make it slow. Yeah, slow short. as possible. Okay, slow short. So this is cool for the viewer to see. Kev, come back here. Just to, so this is, Cam's like, he doesn't, we don't care about distance, don't care where he hits it, just trying to feel something. And that's just where he's going as slow as possible just to make sure his hands are being turned to the top by his body. Beautiful. Nice work swing right there. About as good as it gets right there. That's the definition of using the body to turn the club up the plane. Look at that, dude. There you go. That's the spot right there. No lift. Kind of how that comes down, like yeah. nothing. You don't give work. There's no, no steepness to this, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. turn, 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 you're just money. He knows the routine. He just goes, hey, I'm going to slow this one down. I'm not worried about where it goes or the distance I hit it. And it was him just going, taking two more seconds to get to the top of the swing than he normally would just to guarantee that his body and hands were working a little bit more together. And he could feel what he was trying to feel, which is just being more in this position as opposed to being far away and then having to push his hands up and out. Okay. I think too, like some of those right ones, even with a better backswing there, it was like, I feel like I've been a little hesitant at the ball and like afraid to kind of like, you know, rip through it and not see the, like, the left. draw, you know? Absolutely. And where that comes from or when those just kind of like what Mason was working on the other day. When those hands get a little more up this way and the body starts turning, everything gets out and that's where it can easily start this way. So him getting a little bit closer, straighter back, more turned up the plane, puts it right back down the plane. And that's what, that's what his golf swing's known for though. That's what we always, why we always use him as an example. It's pretty nice. Yeah, big Kev's back there like, woo! At Forzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.